Welcome to part four in my Emperor Velo time trial series. Today we're going to be attempting deep sea driving. Now this track sucked in Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Racing against the devs and I think even Velo was terrible on this track. So I'm hoping this is going to be a little bit better. Just a little bit. Let's get into it. Very much hoping it's not going to be as bad as that. But uh, we're about to find out. So of course, as always, need to learn the strategy. See what he does, what the best way of doing it is. If you're fast enough, you can go over to the left on that bit. Ah, yes, this part. I mean, we needed at least one attempt where we were going to get hit by that. Unfortunately, I feel like it would be more than one. I feel like going this side will be a bit faster now. Because you can get out faster, maybe? I have no idea how he's getting off to such a brilliant start, in all honesty. Like, the fact that he's... Now the problem with this track is that you can't really be certain on lap 2 and 3 until you've done them where the fans are going to be. Right? Like, right here I can sort of... You don't know where they're going to be on lap 2, so when you're speeding around the corners at full speed, the fans might be in a position that are just unavoidable at the time because you just didn't expect them to be there. What the? What was that? Come on, don't bullshit me like this. Seriously? Oh, I can't go on either the left or right. The, the, the hitbox on that thing is stupid. It's stupid because you don't even have to touch it. There's like an invisible part of it on either side that if you're just a bit too close to it, it will spin you. And I'm at a point right now where I'm not fast enough to get on the left side like he is. But I'm also just fast enough to get hit by the right side of it as well. So I'm getting hit by both. I'm trying to save some time there by cutting corners. Plug in the wall there. That's another problem. If you if you look like you're about to hit the fan, you have to go around it, and that just it wastes a lot of time. Right, we're actually going to get past lap one finally. Don't know how many attempts it's been, but it's been way too many. So, at this pace, just behind him, he's going to go left. Okay, that's that's pretty safe to go left, even if you're slow.
How am I losing speed? Oh, I, I really dislike the stiff controls in this game. How is he getting off that so fast? And, and, oh. You know, I think I'd rather just do Baron Ruins. Everyone said that was the worst track because of the tiles, but I don't know. Is it really? I mean, I feel like this is. It's like, where do I go? Wh which way? I want to go left, but I'm not. I'm not keeping up with him. That part is actually incredibly frustrating. The fact that I can't go any way, safely, guaranteed. Just complete. Okay, barely. Means we're on good pace. We can get on the left side of that. Fucking sack of beans! Okay, I've got a bit of hope. I didn't touch that. We, we all saw it, I did not touch that. You've got to be fucking so fast at this beginning part to get on that left side. But we did it. That is greedy. Come on, man. That is greedy. Don't do that. There's no point in risking a good playthrough just to get like 0.1 seconds by cutting corners. This is slow, but not slow enough. Clearing that part a lot faster now. What the f what the shitting hell? Right, am I going to make it?
Ooh. Oh, that was close, honestly. I'm getting the same gaps as he is. Well, he went a bit left there. Hey, this is the furthest we've gotten. First time getting to the third lap. But again, don't know fan placements. He's just there though, so I can use that to my advantage to see where he's going to go. Oh, it doesn't matter, I can see it. One of these fans hits me, I'm gonna break every fucking fan in my house, including my fucking computer and everything. Come on. I'm tall again. I'm tall again. <laughs> Fantastic job. Fantastic job. You know what? You were right. It wasn't as difficult as Baron Ruins. Baron Ruins has lots of little things that can mess you up all the time, but with this track, I mean, there wasn't really that much about this track that was difficult. It's not a difficult track to drive on. It's all about the placement of the fans. As long as you know if you need to go left or right on each lap, then you're going to be fine. Now, as far as out of time goes, out of time is going to be very difficult, I imagine. So I will be leaving that until the next video, which will be coming out soon. The problem with out of time is the clock. I can never go around the clock fast enough. You've got the worms as well, which I feel like if I'm panic boosting, just you know, trying to keep up around all these sharp turns and bends. Probably going to hit the worms a couple times, but I will at least try it. I'll just see how far I can get, but don't expect me to beat it in this video. I'm just testing it. The attempt counter will continue over if necessary. Okay, he doesn't do that. So you know what? I might not do that either. Though, yeah, that sucks. It did put me ahead of him though, so I might actually... How am I missing? Oh, this brings back Nitro Fuel memories. This was another shit track in Nitro Fuel, by the way. If you didn't watch that series. This one took me, I think, 80 attempts. How am I missing the boost pad? It's coming out of a boost, that's why. I've really got to do that just to... Okay, so we can use the sand as a way to actually go a bit faster. Sorry for the map changing, I keep... I'm like, trying to U-turn like I would in Nitro Fuel. I feel like that's gonna help me, but it's not. But yeah, this track is shit. I mean, there's loads of things here. This part is hard to boost around with, you know, keeping speed, because you can only fit one or two boosts in, so it's hard to keep speed around that part. Terrible. Fucking awful driving. But it's so hard to keep flame on this track. Fuck this stupid shortcut. Man, that could have been like a third attempt 
win. Good to know how close I got though. This part just sucks so bad. Like, like what the, what the, what the shit is this? Couldn't have made it a little bit larger. You know, Velo not taking that part is such an L on his part because that saves so much time. Uh, that puts me ahead of him every single lap. And it's not even a, it's not a glitch or anything. It's just cutting across the sand. I don't know why they didn't make him do that. That's perfect. The sand is just, it slows you down just enough to the point where you can boost around that shortcut. It's amazing. This part sucks cock. Get a boost in there. But then look at that. What the... I don't think there's any way to keep flame across there. And I just, that is bullshit, isn't it? And then here, again, just slows you down perfectly to lose speed. Thank God they've given us at least a way to get a bit of speed over him. Like, look at that. I was, like, pretty far behind him there. But I still ended up on top. Well, not for long, but... Seriously? One of those little things? That just... Ruins your speed like a barren ruins. Too many things to hit. I do think it is funny though that I am attempting the two worst tracks in, in CTR Nitro Fueled. In the same video. Oh, come on! You know what? I was about to flip ship, but that works. U turning doesn't work. I knew the worm would get me at least once. Ain't no fucking way. I was over that. Velo was so slow at that part that he had to take the other one. Oh, seriously? Whoa. Way too close for comfort. I'm gonna actually... You know, there is a shortcut that can be done, I think. The Nitro Fuel Bond. That cuts across the sand, but... I don't think it's intended in this game. So I remember trying to do it as a kid. I always used to do it. I think I hit it once. It's possible, but it's not intended, which is why it 
is really difficult to pull off. And another thing that makes me, you know, think it's not intended is that he doesn't do it either. Oh, fuck this shortcut. I'm seriously going to end the video. Look how far ahead he is. No. No, I went straight through the open part of that. I'm not having that. This is bullshit. No wonder people fucking hate this game. See, look at that U-turning. That was actually perfect. I lost my boost, yes, but the fact that I didn't go off course and hit the wall or lose speed by going taking a really wide angle, that was perfect. This was the best we've played that whole section so far. And he's still right behind me, so... Okay, just hit every... Three corners in a row. Take a really wide angle because I messed up my placement. Okay, that's good. Because even though you lose your boost by breaking, you do get a boost when you land anyway, so it's fine. Take a wide angle there. Okay, that's much better. Right, we're actually learning the track now. Took me a lot longer than usual to learn the best methods for each part. But we're learning them. And I know I said I wasn't going to clear this one in the video. And I don't want to, believe me. I want to break. But I can't be a fucking loser. So Velo, it's the last lap. Prepare to be. Annihilated. <laughs> right, deep sea driving out of time cleared in one video. I wasn't going to do it, I was going to break up into two videos because I knew this one would be annoying, but it wasn't as annoying as I thought. Especially when I figured out the braking thing around the shortcut and the uh, going wide on the clock so I could boost around it, which makes sense. Well, they were like the two hardest in, in Nitro Fuel. You know, we, we had deep sea driving and out of time. Both took me such a long time to complete. They weren't as bad in this one. But that is definitely going to be it for this video. So thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here. And in the next video, we'll be trying to clear Clockwork Bumper, which is an incredibly annoying track. But then again, so were these. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video.